I've got behind me a Robert Davies after Tascan 1979 harpsichord. It's two manuals and uh, three choirs, uh, eight, eight, and four, along with the buff stop. But the issue today is not to rejoice, but to diagnose, see what I've got here. Uh, this is a slightly warped key, a D, and I think it's mostly warped in this area, in the downward, and when I play it, it's striking the neighboring D sharp and E around this point, not anywhere else. Up here is uh, on this side, which would be the side towards a D sharp. Uh, that is arguable. It might be touching down there too, but I'm going to see if I can level it out a little bit by using a hot iron. Here is the D5 in question. You can see some gap right here where it's leaning towards its neighbor E and the D sharp. It touches these two keys right there at the front and it's bending a little towards the C sharp back here. I don't think they're touching, but this gap tells me I do have some potential concern in the future. I took a couple of its jacks out so I can more safely remove this. You really can't see the warp from here, but I will share a picture later on where it's lying on a flat surface. Here I have my hot iron set up and a nice flush piece of wood here. Hope I win awards for my cinematography. So I'm going to try and get this out. I assume the iron is going to be hot, so I've got a pair of gloves. Let's see how this goes, boys and girls. I'm going to apply the iron here and then try and coerce the wood here out this way. So apply here and push this out gently, of course. I'm going to do the underside. I've never done this before. I'm applying a little bit of pressure downward. Let's see how that is. More. I make sure I'm doing the right side, of course. Trying to coerce it downward. I had a little break and I tried the key. It is playing better. It does not touch the neighbors. It's still a little close. This gap has decreased. Might be hard to tell from video to video, but I'm gonna iron it downward now just to make life a little simpler. That iron facing up was somewhat treacherous. So you can see we have a little bit of markage right here but you'll never see it except when you take the key out i'm gently coercing the key upward which this being a d that is towards the c natural let's see what happens i think i'm going to call it quits at this point since i know the notes will play I am placing the D back in. I will tell you now, I already know, it is not 100% desirable, but it is closer to the C, and it's not touching the E anymore. So let me put the jacks back in and the jack rail on for the D. I put the key in with two out of three of the jacks not in place. So there wouldn't be any interference. And now the jack rail lock. I'll start with the C. C sharp, D, D sharp. All right, I'll take that as a win. See you next time.